Maurice Claret out of Harding High in Warren, Ohio. Everybody's Mr. Football in this state, Parade All-American. He came to school here early, started in winter quarter so he could take part in spring practice. And as Swanee said, he starts his first game. It's never happened in Ohio State history before. And Krenzel's going to give it off to Claret, and he's got not only a first down, he might have it all. Maurice Claret, first big player of his Buckeye career, is a touchdown. And the handoff, Claret, and he's in the open field. Goodbye, Maurice. Touchdown, Buckeyes. Cone to throw, looking, and Cone will be sacked. Chase Young, Cone in trouble, sacked again by Chase Young. Cone and her trouble. Cone had it stripped by guess who? Chase Young. His first down. Cone sacked again. Loose. Warner picks it up. Warner breaks it back. He's got blockers. Warner down at the 45. Chase Young. Havoc. A career high. Four sacks for the best player in America. You think these Buckeyes are ready? Whoa. No doubt about it. So Indiana will get another opportunity. And they'll start. Oh, oh my goodness. Reese Taylor gets clobbered. What a tackle on special teams. That's Josh Proctor. Buckeyes all business to start this one. Oh, my Woo. goodness. How about this? Josh Proctor says, I got my business socks on. Take a listen to this. Okay. Warden Schlager to the sideline, caught first down. Woo! What a hit, Denzel Ward! You got barbecue back there, and you didn't invite me. Hurt my feelings.
punting the ball away in this situation if they don't get the first down. They have to get the ball all the way to the 36-yard line. They really miss Vance. Motion gamble. Penzo fires wide open. Got most of it back. Just within a yard of a first down is Ben Hartsock. You almost have to go for it now. Now you're so close, you've got to go. Yes. And you can run for it if you want to. Problem is, you don't have your running back that makes these type of first downs. He's standing Prenzel behind you. Very good runner in this situation. If they roll him, I have seen him come out for a huge first down up in Madison, Wisconsin. They're going to put him up underneath center, though. They're going to show the eye back behind the fullback here in fourth down. Could be up to the offensive line. No, Prince is going to throw for it. Got to get it off. They go for the ball game. Touchdown! Touchdown! Michael Jenkins on fourth and one. Would you believe it? Craig Krenzel strikes with a minute and a half left. Holy Buckeye! Shotgun gets free on the air. It's Braxton Miller's loose spin move. Miller headed for the end zone. You think he's made an impact in his first game at H back? Wow. Chris Howard is back. He's number eight. Williams is number 33. And Grasbach back to throw. Pressure's coming. Pass is thrown underneath to Howard. He does a pretty good job until he ran into Andy Katz and Moyer, and Moyer almost killed him. <laughs> Katz and Moyer is a true freshman. It's amazing, Keith, this Ohio State team is as good as it is, second in the nation, and they have two true freshmen. Look at it from behind the defense, other side of the field. Katz and Moyer was the national high school defensive player of the year just last year. And there he is, number 45, with Archie Griffin.
Second and two, Zach Maynard. Now to the gun. Pulls it down to run and gets leveled by Shazier. Designed quarterback sweep. Shazier coming in. <laughs>sweltering summer is but a bead of sweat now on my battered brow mars burns brightly in the southeastern sky yet i find myself wanting i want 50 degrees a wind chill and a crystal clear blue sky i want a fall saturday in ohio stadium i want to get up at 6 a.m and up at the stadium tailgating with the other hardcores by eight i want a bratwurst I want coolers filled with ice-cold beer. I want four tables packed with cheese, lunch meat, veggies, pasta, salad, chips, salsa, Mexican bean dip, and much, much more. I want to acknowledge a fellow Buckeye who'll give me a hearty I-O in return for my O-H. I want the band to come to my tailgate playing the greatest fight song in the world. I want a shotgun three beers on the walk to the stadium. I want to walk into Ohio Stadium, see the grass for the first time, feel like Rudy's dad and mumble to myself, this is the most beautiful sight these tired old eyes have ever seen. I want to feel that chill that goes up my spine when the best damn band in the land strikes that first note. I want to yell when the drum major touches the plume on the back bend. I want to get ready to hang on Sloopy. I want to stand on those cold south stands for four hours with a million ups and downs of joy and agony with every play. I want to make myself hoarse from yelling O-H. I want to eat four dollar hot dogs and soft pretzels with cheese. I want to hear the Buckeye battle cry. I want to see the Bucks. I want to see the Bucks. I want to hear the band play Brown Eyed Girl when we get ahead by four touchdowns. And I want to see cups of Coke complemented with Captain Morgan flying from all directions from the student section. I want to see Script Ohio and watch the entire stadium celebrate. I want to see the Neutron Man shake his groove thing. I want to high five all my friends and every other person around me after the Buckeye score. I find myself wanting. I find myself wanting so much and bring on 
the national champion, Ohio State Buckeyes. across his body high and the catch is made and Benjamin Victor is still running Victor cutting back against the grain heading for the end zone and will make it in Ohio State still alive they feel they have two plays to pick up these five yards again slot receiver uncovered there it is let me pitch it to Hill Hill first down still running touchdown Ohio State Now Malik Harrison is right here in the middle where you would think he is spying. Got to hurry. Just get it off. Sanders smothered. Chase Young, another big play. Ohio State makes a stop and takes over. And they're going to come to the whiteout and conquer the Nittany Lions. On the third Saturday in November of 2006, the Ohio State Buckeyes and Michigan Wolverines met for the 103rd time. Both undefeated, 
It marked the first occasion the teams entered the game as the number one and number two ranked schools in the country. And once the curtain was finally drawn, these century-old rivals put on a show for the ages. The game unfolded like a celebration, a hundred-yard homage to all who played, coached, and cheered throughout this storied rivalry. In the end, the schools combined for the series' highest point total in 99 meetings. It was Ohio State which prevailed 42 to 39, immortalizing a fresh crop of victors in Buckeye lore. An autumn ritual, the Michigan-Ohio State rivalry is as ingrained in Midwestern culture as stoicism and self-reliance. Like the fruits of the season's harvest, the game is a gift a cycle of life that links generations and bonds hostile neighbors. Because beneath the bitterness that coats their epic feud, the teams grudgingly maintain a mutual and abiding respect. They are companion pieces in history, each side's legacy continually tied to the others. It's a beautiful thing. You feel you are a part of something that stretches from before you existed and will be here long after you are gone. The cold, dark, forbidding sky of that late November day in Ann Arbor or in Columbus. If you don't think it's a big deal around here, ask the guy who lost it. And they look at gray flannel skies for months on end and you're thinking about, we gotta beat those sons of bitches the next time.